Transsexual is a very old term from back in the day. We're in 2024. Get with the times. Have a good day. You just can't make this shit up. Uzbekistan politicians call for a crackdown on LGBTQ plus teens identifying as furries after a series of vicious attacks by teens who act like cats and dogs. Police in Uzbekistan are currently on the hunt for a teenager who allegedly bit a passerby while dressed and acting as a dog. Yo, we better round up those Haitian migrants and send them over to Uzbekistan because let's see how much longer those teens identify as cats and dogs. This isn't just happening in the US anymore. It's worldwide woke now. I had to help a kindergartner from stepping in like poop and pee because kids that identify as animals go to the yeah. bathroom on the floor. We are not kidding you. Creating problems for themselves because they lead an actual privileged life is the new thing to do on TikTok. And we're literally seeing this in almost every area of life, right? Relationships. My partner doesn't want me to fuck other people. I'm a victim. Gender expression. I find it quite funny when cis people see me and they're like, oh, I'm so sorry if this offends you, but like, I just can't tell if you're a boy or a girl. Like, no, baby, that doesn't offend me. That's by design. It's not offensive. It's on purpose. I dress and express myself with a specific intent of confusing cis people. And it works. And it feeds my ego and it gives me gender euphoria. The comments on this one, by the way, did not disappoint. Somebody commented a photo of a book and said advanced faggotry. I love when cis people feel confused about my gender because it gives me euphoria. You love controlling people because you're a narcissist. <sighs> Snap. Somebody else said, what a clever way to flip not being able to pass. Pregnant trans man is so fucking wild because here I am masculinizing my eyebrows while wearing these cute maternity <laughs> But it's not my fault. They don't make paternity outfits for men. I, I had to improvise. This is the only thing I could find that wasn't a dress or a skirt. And you know what? <laughs> it's, it's not even that bad. I've been a rather twinky kind of femboyish like guy for a while. But it just seems kind of funny because <laughs> I've got this like flat chest going and then this. Like, like... <laughs> out here fighting the dysphoria with a proud little baby bump. If any trans man friend of mine were to actually get preggers, they would be in such pain dysphoria-wise. The last thing on their mind would be to masculinize their eyebrows, especially not while laughing about it. I grew this so I wouldn't be perceived as a woman. And I grew these so I wouldn't be perceived as a man. And if that confuses or upsets you, mission complete. But if it doesn't, And there it is. This is why LGBT acceptance is down. We are focusing on shit that does not matter while others around the world or even in, in our country are actually suffering. And I get people wanting to help because people's hearts usually are in the right place, but then the issue becomes, well, where is my money actually going when I donate to these specific charities or not-for-profits? Is it going to the right place? And that's where my friends Bono come in. Bono is a new digital service that absolutely revolutionizes charitable donations. They built the simplest, most trusted, and smartest way to donate to causes you care about. And you can follow your impact with complete transparency, which of course is why I especially love it. I actually do support a number of LGBT causes and organizations who support people who actually need it, like having a suicide prevention hotline, thanks to the Trevor Project. There are actual kids that still need support like this. It's super easy with Bono, you simply tell them what you care about by selecting the causes. You decide on your monthly giving budget. You could start as I did with as little as $5 a month. That's literally it, Bono does the rest. It helps you select impactful and trustworthy charities. It builds your giving profile. So all your donations are in one easily manageable location. And it helps you predict your yearly impact based on the budget and causes that you choose. And obviously the more we donate as a group, the more impact we will have. But again, choose the cause that you most resonate with. Go and check them out and support companies and organizations that actually support good causes. Link is in the description below. Honestly, the people at Orlando Pride last weekend needed work in an entirely different way. Since they're always crying, don't say gay. And it's so miserable to live as an LGBT person in Florida. I figured I would put those phrases to the test. Are you actually unsafe? How's Florida treating you? Here's what they had to say. Have the don't say gay police come for you yet? I know, but I did bought them tonight and I didn't shave my butthole. Oh, the don't say gay police. Have they come for you? <laughs> Not really. They can lock me up any day. Are you into that? Oh yeah, I'm into that too. Have the don't say gay police come for you yet? What? Don't say gay police. You have the say gay shirt on. Have the police come for you yet? Every day. 
<gasps> Where? Have the Don't Say Gay police come for you in Florida? No, they haven't come for me yet. Not yet, thank goodness. Have you been arrested by the Don't Say Gay police yet? I have not. I feel safe in Florida as a gay person, do you? What is the Don't Say Gay police? You know how they were saying that you're not allowed to say, you're not allowed to say gay, and every people have say gay. In high school, they mentioned it, but we're not there anymore, so yeah. we don't care. You're safe in Florida, so the gays are safe, right? I'd feel like I am. Use a condom. The gays are safe in Florida. Thank you. You're safe to be a lesbian in Florida. Yes, I would say so. Your gay friends feel unsafe in Florida, or do they feel like pretty good walking around with a butterfly, uh, with a rainbow butterfly flag? I think everybody seems pretty okay here. In, at least in Orlando, Florida, you're you're pretty safe to say gay and to be homosexual here? Uh, pretty much. Central Florida, for the most part, is very accepting, very loving. The media is is, is full of lies in a, in, a, in a lot of what, they, what they're saying. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I would agree. Do you feel threatened being openly bisexual in Florida? No, I don't. Yeah. Nobody cares. She gets to come here. Yes. They get to do I'm it. I'm here. Yeah. Nobody That's cares. a beautiful thing, isn't it? Yes, nobody cares, really. Nobody cares. Do you feel safe here? Yes, I do. Yes, you can do. say gay? Yes. yes. So in Florida, you feel, you feel like you're fairly safe in Florida? Fairly safe, yeah. Have the don't say gay police come for you yet? They have come for me. <gasps> Where did you go? But you're here now. I ran away. If don't say gay was actually a legit thing, all of this would not be happening right now. It would be shut down in a second. I live in Florida half the year. I am a lesbian. I have equal rights there. I have never felt unsafe as an LGBT person in Florida. If someone hurts me because I'm gay, that will be considered a hate crime under under law. So again, we are a protected class of citizen there. But one thing that I noticed again and again when I was asking these people, it was that they tended to be more worried about the fact that people will still be rude and hateful. He made it all right for people to spread bigotry and and the worst parts of themselves and make it okay. One of my daughters who married her wife did feel threatened living here and moved out of state. But the perception, the laws, I think, is the hardest thing. Which law specifically, if you, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I think it's more the attitude around a lot of what's happening. You wouldn't want your children to grow up treating and talking about people the way he does so are you so why would why would you want someone to lead the country who does and says says the things that he says and talks about people and well, what but, about his policies do you not like his policies he hasn't mentioned a policy every time they ask him for a policy he he diverts and talks about something else i've there, seen a number of policies I've on his it. website it, it was it was kamala who hadn't put a policy up until i think two or three weeks ago he's already shown how negative a a person he is. He's just not nice. He doesn't care for other human beings and he's actively allowed people to spread hate. And that has caused a division in our in our people. Um what of it, which one of his policies do you feel like have have brought on more hate? Cuz you know he's had gay weddings at his house in Mar-a-Lago. He's yeah. been in uh, log cabin Republicans, which is the the LGBT Republican Party yeah. for gay people, spearheaded the the international decriminalization of homosexuality. Yeah, he he, he spearheaded that. I'm not gonna let that cloud yeah. who he is as a as who he's shown he is as a person. I would say I am pro transsexual and against the idea of transgender being different than being transsexual. Let me update you on some new terms. Transsexual is a very old term from back in the day. We're in 2024. Get with the times. Have yeah. a good day. I don't want this to be a hateful world. I want. I, I don't. I'm not being hateful at all, and I'm not transphobic. But I hope you have a great day. I Only a pride. Too by the purple people eater. You can never stop people from being dicks. Number one, because that would vary depending on the person that it's actually aimed at. And number two, if you actually decided to put that into action, that would be the government literally deciding on what is considered to be hate speech or not. The government would be controlling free speech and expression. And that is a huge problem. And let's be honest, you're not really working on giving the actual hateful people less ammo when you're acting like this. So I got served today at the pharmacy and uh, I'm not saying men can't look like this because please go off kings, but like I'm not doing damage to masculinity. I think y'all are when you serve me, when you call me a man, right? Like, I'm not a man. Don't consider me for the pool of men. And maybe the people who are like, oh, masculinity is in decline. Well, stop thinking I'm doing anything with it. I'm not part of that equation. <laughs> this boob bro again, y'all. This shit is a hot ass mess. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to go and check out our sponsor, Abano. The link is in the description below. Let's make a bigger impact 
with people that actually need it together as a community. Other than that, make sure to go and follow me on TikTok because I am posting a ton of content from Orlando Pride. I literally have maybe like 10 videos coming out on TikTok that are not gonna be shown on YouTube. So go and follow me there. Other than that, I'll see you guys back here on Sunday with a brand new video. Until then, I love you. Love yourselves. Keep calling out the bullshit. Bye.